एवरी वन वेलकम टू जे जी के एम मास्टर क्लास गाइज इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द फिनमिना ऑफ एन एम आर बेस्ड ऑन क्वांटम मैकेनिकल थ्योरी द टॉपिक इज टेकन फ्रॉम द लास्ट ईयर एम एस सी क्वेश्चन पेपर एंड हियर वी विल कवर द कंसेप्ट लाइक एन एम आर फिनमिना बेस्ड ऑन स्पिनिंग न्यूक्लियस द इफेक्ट ऑफ एक्सटर्नल फील्ड the precisional motion what is precisional frequency and also we will see the theory of nuclear magnetic resonance so in that way you will learn the basic concept of nmr which is nuclear magnetic resonance and the topic is important for msc chemistry students so we will see the question explain the phenomena of nmr on the basis of quantum mechanical theory this is a question and we'll see how to answer this question by understanding the very easy steps about the phenomena so here is the nmr phenomena and the question is based on the quantum mechanical description so first we know nmr is the nuclear magnetic resonance nuclear means we are going to study here nucleus and in this topic we are going to discuss the nucleus which is proton so based on the proton nmr we are going to discuss the quantum mechanical theory of nmr phenomena so as we know the proton it behaves like a tiny spinning magnet because it possesses both electrical charge and mechanical spin so it will generate a magnetic field we will understand this you can see this is the hydrogen nucleus and uh, you can see that since it possesses both electric charge and mechanical spin it will start spinning the uh, the proton will start spinning and because of that spinning a uh, nuclear magnetic uh, uh, dipole will generate and because of that we says that it generates a magnetic field and here v0 represent the external magnetic field so basically the uh proton nucleus will is behave like a magnet and it generates a magnetic field in the presence of external magnetic field the proton can adopt only two orientation with respect to this external magnetic field either it can be aligned with the field or it can be opposed with the field we will see a uh, next diagram to understand this you can see here b0 represent the external magnetic field and we have seen that the proton nucleus can adapt either the only two orientations either it is aligned with the magnetic field you can see the direction is the same or it can be opposed with the magnetic field the orientation of the hydrogen is just opposed to the external applied field so the aligned Uh, orientation is having the lower energy as you can see here we have mentioned and the opposed orientation is in the high energy and the difference between the two orientation is represented by del e which is we know energy is equal to h nu so based on this uh, we have seen the proton nucleus can adopt only two orientation either aligned or opposed so we can say this is the representation of precision nuclei what is precision nuclei means you can see uh, along with this aligned and opposed there is a slower waltz like motion uh, like you can imagine a top which rotate on its axis similarly the nucleus will start uh, rotating or spinning around its uh, precision uh, nuclear uh, this axis orbit you can see the we call it precisional orbit along with that it will um it will start spinning and this uh, spinning nucleus is then considered as precisional nuclei or this motion is called as precisional motion and because of that the uh, nucleus uh, will have opposes the precisional frequency okay and uh, we have seen that like the del e is the transition between the aligned and the energy transition between the aligned and opposed condition so the next is these alignments means aligned and opposed are quantized and the number of orientation spin states are equal to 2i plus 1 so quantized means you can calculate how many orientations are possible for the respective nucleus and how many will be there how you can find out based on the formula 2i plus 1 
where i is a spin quantum number and which is associated with the mass number and the atomic number of the nuclei so let's say in case of hydrogen the i is plus a half so half means uh, if you put the value half here so 2 divided by 2 means 1 plus 1 2 means only two orientations are possible as you have seen plus half and minus half similarly you can calculate the number of orientation for different nucleus like carbon 13 nitrogen 15 etc the different quantized orientation will each have an energy level and which will be determined by zeeman splitting so we will see that what is that with respect to this diagram you can see that the nucleus is here so the hydrogen we know that there are two orientation when you apply this nucleus place this nucleus in the presence of external magnetic field it will start spinning and uh, only two orientations are possible either it will align or it will oppose with respect to the external magnetic field and because of that you can see here the splitting occurs which is called the Zeeman splitting. So this is the energy difference between the two uh, orientation which is represented by or you can see which is directly proportional to the magnetic field strength. So we can say that the stronger the applied magnetic field that is B0 the greater is the energy difference between the possible spin states. So this statement is important and you can also represent the diagram like this you can see this is the spinning nucleus which is uh, you can see in the presence of external field one is aligned uh, aligned with the magnetic field the other is in the center is it is opposing the external magnetic field and the nucleus is spinning and because of that the splitting occurs the zeeman splitting occurs plus and minus you can see here representing the energy and energy difference so this energy difference is a function of as you can see is a applied magnetic field strength so if you know this del E by using the formula is equal to gamma HB0 divided by 2 pi where gamma is a gyromagnetic ratio and H is the Planck constant, B0 is the magnetic field strength. So all is constant except B0 which, uh, like, which is the magnetic field strength which is directly proportional. So the del E is directly proportional to the magnetic field strength. So if you know the del E means if you know the magnetic field strength we can stimulate the transition between these two states applying a radio frequency field such that that the E is equal to H nu is equal to H omega. So what do you mean by this? Let's say nu is the frequency of the radiation. Okay, so we know all the molecule exists in the ground state. When you bombard any molecule with the radio frequency, if the frequency of the radiation exactly matches with the frequency of the nucleus, here omega represents the frequency of the nucleus. When this condition fulfills, then only the absorption will take place and the transition will occur from the ground state to the excited state. So because of this, the nucleus is set to be in resonance and we get the NMR absorption spectra and therefore the name come nuclear magnetic resonance. We are studying nucleus here in the presence of magnetic field and because of that it is having a resonance. So when it is going to have a resonance when nu is equal to omega the frequency of radiation exactly matches with the frequency of the nucleus the absorption takes place. So if you know that del E, one can stimulate the transition between the two states by applying the radio frequency field. So we can say in NMR spectroscopy, we are going to perturb the spin states by stimulating the transitions between energy levels. So this theory is explained based on the quantum mechanical description, quantum mechanical theory. And with the help of all these diagram, you can easily understand the NMR phenomena, what happens and how it is happening. So I hope you understood this phenomena and I have uploaded many videos on NMR topic uh, considering all the concepts regarding this NMR. If you think that I have missed something, you can write in the description box. I will try to prepare video on that topic. And if you have any doubt in this, that also you write in the description box. We will discuss it. 
and uh, if you are a new viewer to my channel please do subscribe it and share it with your friends so that everyone will get the benefit of it happy learning